Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an Oasis haul. I think I've got five or four new pieces in, so I'm going to show you the pieces that I'm loving that I've got in and then just how I would style them. The first piece I'm going to start off with is this blouse that I'm absolutely loving. It's got this really nice kind of ruffled detail down at the front and then this kind of like, um, it's like a embroidery, like an embroidery kind of detail going down the front into this V which I think is quite flattering I think if you are larger busted sometimes having lots of detail up here can definitely um, not be the most flattering but because they go down into a V almost drawing your eye line to the waistline and also quite slimming at this area as well I think it kind of works it's obviously quite floaty so for something like this I would definitely go for a skinnier jean but to avoid looking at top heavy I would just style it up with a chunky boot I really really like this though I got this just as I don't really have much kind of print in my winter wardrobe so I have lots of print for summer but I'm not so much of a print person in the autumn winter I just need some blouses that when I'm going out in the evenings um, I can just put on instead of a blazer and a t-shirt because I'm a blazer kind of person but you know sometimes it's not always appropriate to wear a blazer like if you're going to chill in someone's house or maybe you're doing like a really casual midweek drink or something like that I just needed some alternatives to wear on my upper body aside from blazers and t-shirts so I thought this was quite a nice addition um it's kind of like a chiffon -y material it's got this really nice kind of I don't know what this print is um but this weird kind of print on it and it's just like a nice addition to an autumn winter wardrobe just to change up for me like the monotony of wearing like knitwear or like I said t-shirts and blazers because that's what I wear all the time. So the next piece I want to share with you is this kind of, um, what do you even call this? I don't know but anyway it's one of those kind of jackets that goes over the head so it's got like this zippy with this really good zippy, this zipper, zip, oh my god what is wrong with me, with um, this really nice kind of collar. Um, this is giving me some aviator style, it's also giving me, I mean I just, I went for this because I just love kind of really good outerwear and just you know I feel like outerwear is the most important thing in a winter wardrobe I feel like it's better to invest more in outerwear than having loads of blouses and jeans and whatever and that's just me across the board I just love blazers outerwear good outerwear and also outerwear that just really adds something different to your wardrobe so I feel like this is something that is definitely an elevated piece it's something that's going to really kind of be the statement in whatever your outfit is I mean you just I think this person would just go over jeans skinny jeans and um, leggings that sort of thing but it's just such a good piece of outerwear and although it's casual I feel like that's my thing at the moment I really want to have really good casual pieces so although this is casual it's just such a game changer um, and I think this is going to be something that I'm going to wear on the school run um, it's mostly going to be like a weekend's kind of running errands doing stuff with Allegra um, you know because it is very very casual but it's super edgy as well and I think you can really style this I just think with all black a good pair of black sunglasses and a chunky boot I mean you could even do this with like a really long kind of skinny flare jean um, a stiletto like a pointed stiletto and um, like a court shoe and have this on I mean I know that's not the most practical look but it will just look so good um, so I went for this actually in a 16 because um, I think that was the last size available so I'm not sure if this is in stock if it's not I will find some similar but I just think it's brilliant and I cannot wait I haven't actually tried this on so I can't wait to get this one on so I have got the jacket on I absolutely love it a few things I feel like I would want to change about this I wish it had a drawstring um, I guess maybe if I'd gone for this in my actual size it might have been slightly tighter around here I just kind of like it gathered like that like do you know what I mean? I just feel like it even needs to be like really oversized and kind of long and slouchy or it needs to be kind of a little bit cropped kind of thing. Um, I mean, you wouldn't want to tuck this into your jeans, no, that's pointless. But I just feel like I want a bit more of a kind of cropped, tucked look. But I think maybe if you've got this in your size, you could definitely achieve that because this would be maybe a little bit more kind of um, tighter fitting to the body. Um, also, I mean, the sleeves are just ridiculously short on me and I have actually sized up. I mean, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos before, you will know that I do suffer with um, sleeve lengths because I just have really long arms. Um, but other than that, I really, really like it. I just think it's such a vibe as I kind of expected and why I got it. Um, I think I would look very cool on the nursery run. Oh, the nursery run? Allegra is not in nursery anymore. She's in school. I think I would look very cool on the school run in this. I might actually wear this today, especially now it has got a little bit chilly. Um, because it's so short in the sleeve for me, 
and the armhole isn't massively deep. I don't think this is something that you would really layer over chunky knits. So I think it's something you'd wear over t-shirts. I've just got it on over this high neck t-shirt from Weekday Collective. Um, so I think over t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, kind of finer knits, um, kind of your basics, like, I don't know, like a long sleeve polo neck kind of, but you know, like the thin kind of like jersey material. I don't think it's one that you really want to put on over anything that's got any substantial weight to it. You could also potentially do this over a white shirt and maybe have the um, kind of shirt hanging out at the bottom. That could be one way to style this. This is a whole vibe and I absolutely love it. Of course I had to get at least one blazer in this video and it is this amazing, really bold, bright orange. It's double breasted but it only has a single button. Um, so these two buttons up here are actually faux buttons. They're not, they don't actually do anything. So it just buttons at the final button here at the bottom and then there's a button inside as well but with really good gold buttons and they have them on the cuff which I think is good I hate when um, blazers don't have buttons here um, and they're good buttons as well so they're gold buttons so nice and statement I feel like I've styled this quite casual because I think the obvious way is to always style a blazer like dressy and um, like if you're going out I mean of course you would wear this out but it doesn't have to be like a night out Mostly I am not going on nights out, so I thought I'd try and make this like feel a little bit more casual. So this could be something that maybe you wear to um, a kid's party, probably your child's uh, birthday party as opposed to somebody else's. And when you want to feel like put together and presentable and you want to feel a little bit sharp too, um, but you also want to keep it quite casual. I feel like style right now, it could be just because of my lifestyle, but I do feel like fashion in general is really starting to lean more towards the casual side of things that could have been also just coming out of a pandemic lockdown that sort of thing and um, we have got far more used to being very comfortable in our clothes and the thought of being uncomfortable in in my clothes right now is just it just doesn't it doesn't excite me at all and there's really not anything that i'm prepared to wear at the cost of comfort anymore and um, even right down to a pair of jeans that are too tight i just cannot be bothered um so i feel like making dressier things feel more accessible more every day is definitely something that i'm trying to do because i do have a quite a dressy wardrobe and um, maybe because I've just been so in denial about my lifestyle for so long um so I but I want to be able to wear these things more frequently so I thought I'd try and style this in a way that I feel like you could wear I mean you could wear this to the pub for lunch um you know because you just you've just got a really good blazer on it's no kind of different what it is but it's like wearing a statement jumper or sweatshirt or um kind of knit but instead of going for a knit you're going for the blazer to really add that kind of warmth because this feels very warm actually but you are still getting the um a bit more style and a bit more structure than you would like a jumper or a sweatshirt or or a knit piece basically um went for this in a size 14 again um true to size quite close fitting to the body it is quite fitted once you button it up again this is something that you could wear if you're going out in the evening with a pair of black trousers and heels um, to kind of dress it up but I've obviously just gone for a white jean which you'd obviously wear in the winter throughout the day um, and a chunky boot just to keep it really casual like I said and laid back but I really really love this and orange is a big colour for this season I am seeing it everywhere um, so I do actually have an orange blazer I've got an orange suit in my wardrobe one that you can wear with something beneath it because it's kind of asymmetrical you can't really wear it open so I want one that I could wear open and I actually really really love this I love the structure I love how fitted it is it does feel really sharp it's very tailored um so really really like this actually I need to make a mental note of this outfit to wear it myself at some point in life because I absolutely love this one it's just a really kind of functional but still well put together and well thought out piece but anyway what I'm actually sharing with you are the boots which I'm obviously going to put a cutaway here because you probably won't be able to see them um so it's a really good chunky boot I feel like they work with the all black kind of base because they have got that cleated sole in a contrasting black um so I feel like the black is still quite a good feature of the shoe and I love black and tan together it's definitely I would love to do an all kind of like black look with the tan boots and I know it sounds ridiculous to go so matchy matchy but even a tan bag as well um you know i just love tan and black together so i really, really like these of course they're super comfortable at first when i put them on i did kind of feel like there's something going across my across the foot that feels a little bit hard um i'm not sure it's but i've had it on for a while now i've been walking around the house in them and they do feel a little bit more comfortable obviously i've not worn these out yet um they are real leather they are really nice soft leather actually they're kind of like a grain leather i actually love the leather on this um and they just look very, very durable. They've got a really good sole on them. Um, and I think, you know, it's obviously very easy to style casual boots like these 
with leggings but also I just think it looks really good with a mini skirt particularly leather mini skirt because it just kind of casuals it down and makes it feel less kind of sexy and like I said I'm trying to make lots of pieces in my wardrobe feel a lot more wearable for my lifestyle and for every day so and again with this chunky cardigan on over it I definitely feel like this is something that I could wear to the pub with a leg out and about on a Saturday because this cardigan just gives me so much coverage and shockingly with the long boots and the, the long cardigan it just feels all so warm and cozy so I absolutely love this outfit love the boots and love the colour and the chunky sole um, the sole is really really good it's not just chunky it's kind of got like two rows of stitching around it I will try and show you but they're really really good um sole on them so yeah absolutely love these boots and they're definitely getting more and more comfortable maybe they're just like a dm that need to be kind of worn in a little bit and they are much softer in terms of leather but there's just something across the toe that felt a little bit um yeah a little bit restrictive but now they are definitely starting to feel more comfortable and I'm actually so glad I got these Yes, I have several chunky boots, but I don't have a tan pair, and I am very glad to add these to my wardrobe. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Hope you got lots of inspo. Hope you found it kind of informative, and found some pieces that you might like to shop in Oasis. I will link everything that I have featured down below, as well as all the pieces I've started with, including this spectacular cardigan. I um, absolutely love this cardigan so much. Um, but yes, I will be styling these pieces up in more different ways over on my Instagram. So if you want to go and check me out on Instagram to see how I'm styling these pieces in more ways than one, um, you can always do that. My Instagram is at Mama Porter. Um, and that's kind of it. I hope, um, you know, to be making more YouTube videos. It has been a while. I'm not going to do a really long rambly sign off. But anyway, I do hope to be back more frequently. And that is the plan. Um, so do tap that bell for a notification when my next video goes live. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Ciao, ciao.